I wanted to do a quick follow-up video to this one that I did. Um, a lot of people in the comments have been saying about the Catholic connections to this Asbury Revival thing. And uh, I'm not surprised, you know, but just thought I'd do a quick video on this. Um, search Asbury University, spiritual formation team. Um, what is spiritual formation? Ignatian, spiritual formation, Ignatian formation there. It's a Jesuit exercise that they do to basically create Christ in your mind and the whole thing. Uh, another one of you pointed out in the comments, the thing of the daily Eucharist is offered on campus Monday through Friday at noon. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, the Eucharist is a pagan satanic ritual sacrifice. That's what it is. There's no scripture for it at all. I've refuted it many times. Um, Jesus is not, you know, did not turn bread and wine into his physical flesh and blood. That's nonsense. If he did, he would have been violating the scriptures. Uh, the Bible con condemns eating of blood, okay, in three different places in the Bible. Before the law, under the law, after the law was given. Acts chapter uh, 15, I think it was. Um, you're to abstain from blood. Um, so if Jesus was turning wine into blood, then he was disobeying scripture. All right, it's very symbolic of the Bible itself. That's why people re rejected Jesus Christ, because they didn't like the thing of having to follow the scriptures, like a lot of the followers of this Asbury Revival thing. You can watch my King Jesus Version videos on that. The flesh and blood of the King Jesus Version uh, is the video. But this is where it gets really interesting here. Um, Jesus was right next to me. Asbury Revival sets Catholics on fire with Holy Spirit. February 17th, 2023, so three days ago. This is when this came out. DetroitCatholic.com. All right. Um, I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but, uh, you know, it's almost like a wellspring, said Father Norman Fisher, pastor of St. Peter Claver Church in Lexington, Kentucky, and chaplain at Lexington Catholic High School. You just know right away that God is there. Catholics and supposed Protestants coming together. Catholic Catholicism has a false gospel. Remember, for, for a very long time, they were killing Christians, taking Christians and burning them at the stake and, and all the other tortures of the Inquisition and everything else. Oh, it's in the past. They've changed now. Yeah, okay. Then why do they still have the office of Inquisition there? You know, I mean, it's still there. Ratzinger was the head of it. Uh, they don't call it that anymore. Um but, I mean, the, all their beliefs are still there. They still condemn people as heretics. Um, but, see, what they're doing is they're drawing everybody into the Catholic system and so that they can persecute Bible believers like myself and the viewers out there that are genuinely born again and understand doctrine is more important than feeling and emotion. And uh, we live our life by the Bible. Um, but, anyhow, it just keeps going down through here. You, I mean, if you're a Bible believer, you know where this stuff's going. You know that the Catholic Church is going to rise in the end times. It's prophesied in Scripture. It is the Antichrist movement. But there's something down here I wanted to show, which is very important. Um, uh, you know, the Catholics are doing the same thing. And again, they're going to draw in Catholics with this, this whole movement, and then they'll switch them over to Trad Cat, is what they're going to do, traditional Catholic. Um... Uh, what's, what's it all about? Here's one of the things that I wanted to say. One of you brought this up in the comments. She also said the Asbury Awakening is a call to all Christian faith communities, including the Catholic Church, to roll out the red carpet to young people, especially after the lingering sense of isolation from COVID-19 lockdowns, which stifled in-person youth ministry. Uh, translation, um, we lost a lot of people during the scandemic thing. And they left because they saw that we basically caved into government pressure and basically let the government tell us what to do, which is completely unscriptural. And I've done plenty of videos on that. I won't get into the whole thing. But uh, we're hurting for church membership, so now we're going to uh, revive the dead corpse that we are all part of. Um, I serve a living Savior. All right, I don't serve a dead corpse. The... Uh, Catholics, they serve a dead corpse. They sacrifice Jesus Christ over and over again in the Eucharist. That's what it is. It's the re-sacrificing of Jesus Christ. Eat his flesh, drink his blood, 
practice cannibalism. Um, it's what it is. Uh, but it goes down through here. Check this out. Area Catholic parishes are looking to see how they can cultivate the same, especially as the Catholic Church in the U.S. enters the second year of the National Eucharistic Revival. What? Which will include the 10th National Eucharistic Congress in Indianapolis in uh, July of two, 21st through the 24th of 2024. I read that and I thought, what? <laughs> We're in the um, second year of the National Eucharistic Revival. Really? Uh, well, there's a lot of things that are going to come out about that, I'm sure. Um, you know, we had a huge conversation with the kids about how Catholics can experience the Eucharist 24 hours a day. She said, we're having revival constantly in the Eucharist, but no one's going and Jesus is there waiting. So you don't uh, receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You eat him, <laughs> you know, and, he, and somehow he's magically staying there for 24 hours. I don't know how that works. But, uh, yeah, so um, just absolutely crazy. Um, but I won't get into anything more there. You can read the article for yourself, DetroitCatholicNews.com. But, uh, I mean, prove that this stuff is wrong. I've proved the charismatic stuff has been wrong for years. Um, there's no end times revival. All the people that are attacking me in this in the comments and whatever else show me where there's an end times revival there isn't any um the you know church professing church out there the christian church completely failed during the pandemic thing and whatever else they shut down the government corporations 501c3 irs uh code for tax exemption um but you're going to see more and more movements towards making this jesus popular and it's all based on emotion it's all based on experience it's completely wicked and it is going to bring in the antichrist system and these people will get angry and they will rail on you because you're sticking by the bible you're a pharisee uh, no actually the pharisees overthrew scripture by their own traditions that's why jesus can you know condemn them but let's not get technical i guess you know so they're they're just this whole system is antichrist that's what this is all about it's exactly what the Bible said would happen. So watch out for this stuff. I'll be saying more things about it in the future. Um, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.